Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Well, it's the time to check in for week five of the Super Speed Training Protocols. Over the last couple of weeks, especially during the winter break, I have been doing some training at home. I haven't really done too much hitting in the bay, but it's been kind of interesting to hit, do some practice outside in the snow. So I just cracked 136 miles an hour in club speed with the speed radar. Now, 136 miles an hour when I'm swinging on TrackMan is not going to be the same. There's no way I can swing with a real golf club at 136 miles an hour, unless I'm like kind of Bryson DeChambeau, but maybe I'll get there someday. But we have noticed that when I have had increases on the swing speed radar, is that I'm getting some increases when I'm hitting shots on TrackMan. So we have gone in five weeks from 111.3 miles an hour as my average speed to 115 miles an hour as my average speed. I've cracked out at 116.3 as my highest club speed so far. And today I'm hoping maybe I can get to 117. As I mentioned, I haven't really checked in here for a week because I've been doing it at home and I haven't had the chance to kind of hit some shots, but I'm really excited to see if I can see any more increases here. I feel like I've been swinging faster, so I'm really excited to kind of take a look at uh, the numbers and kind of see what the, everything's going to tell us. So I'm going to go through the training proto protocol again. This is week five. Super Speed would recommend six weeks in training protocol number one. So we've got one more week here to go with me swinging three swings forward and back, step through, and then finishing off with the uh, real 100% real golf swings here as well. Before I do that, I do ask that you do subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm going to keep you updated on the progress here, and we've got plenty of other great content coming the way in the future. Let's get after it and see what speed I can get today. So I'm already nice and loose. If you take a look at our week four video, I did go through the prog process of getting nice and loose to get warmed up. So let's do this uh, training protocol and see how fast I can get my club speed today at the end. First swing of the day, 120 miles an hour. One twenty one. One twenty six. Might be a good day. All right, time for the left handed swing. This is always fun. Wow, that's pretty fast. 110. 111. The, uh, the left-handed swing is getting faster and faster. First started out doing this in week one, I was about 85 to 90 miles an hour. Now we're seeing some really big increases in my left-handed swing. Moving on to the medium stick. 121 miles an hour. 109, it's pretty good, it's pretty good left-handed. And then the heavy stick. 126, wow. Okay, so that's the first phase of the training protocol. Next phase is the step through method. One hundred and twenty two miles an hour. All right, one hundred and fourteen. Make sure you don't catch the ground when you're doing this. That, well, that could have been really bad. All 
All right. Well, consistently in the hundreds with the left-handed swing there again. As I mentioned, make sure you don't hit the ground. We don't definitely don't want to hurt your hand or break break the uh, speed stick system at all. Also, you notice when I'm doing the step through method, I'm starting with my feet close together. It really helps to be able to get yourself to get that nice step and then walk through there as well. So when you do this, start with your feet right in the right together essentially. All right, 114 with the red. And 103. Okay, I'll give myself 30 seconds here to catch my breath a little bit. So we finish up the training protocol. We finish up with three absolute max full swings. As I mentioned, I, when I was working at home outside, got to 136 with this. So let's see how close we are today. All right, 129. Also 129. All right, one, 132. All right, so we didn't quite get to 136. That was really, really fast. Uh, when I was working on this at, at home. But I'm excited right now to see what this translates to. So last week what I did is I hit several drives and what we noticed was my swing speed stayed consistently very, very high. Didn't really maybe get too much faster but it was really consistent on those several shots that I hit. So let's hit several drives now and let's take a look and see if I picked up any more distance. Left the face a little open on that one. All right. That felt a little faster. There you go. Well, that's the furthest drive I've ever hit. 333.4. That is absolutely smoked. That one was a little bit of a miss hit. What a great miss hit though. That one felt like I did not catch the middle of the face. My ball speed dropped down. It's kind of interesting today that my club speed has not really got to 116. Now that is actually very, very accurate with the super speed training protocol system. There is uh, a good chance that Super speed, if you, if you look through their, their training protocol, their recommendations, they do suggest that you will experience a plateau per se in your, in, your, in your speed. Now eventually then you'll plateau and then all of a sudden you'll get another little jump there again. But what we did notice today is I did generate my furthest distance I've ever hit the ball. We're at 333 yards. It's quite incredible. And that's because all the other numbers were more optimal. When I first started out doing this training program, I was hitting the ball very high. So I was hitting it with a lot of speed, but it was high and spinning a little bit spinnier. That one that I really, really smoked, that was in the optimal window. I think I believe it was 108 feet in the air and a 36 degree landing angle with the driver. So that was really kind of optimal. So I'm going to finish off, try to hit a couple more, see if we can get that speed out there today. But what we have noticed is it just, it's just plateaued just a little bit here. And that is exactly what I would expect using this training protocol system. Something more to kind of push myself a little bit harder as we try and search for a little more distance. That was a little faster.
Yeah, it's 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 not there. One one fifteen is kind of the the highest number we got to. I do want to just bring up that one shot that I did hit the absolute furthest. So I am still progressing in my absolute furthest drive that I ever hit, and that one was shot three. So we'll notice there my club speed was one hundred and fifteen point four which is one mile an hour slower than my absolute fastest club speed that I have picked up so far in the training program. It is still four miles an hour faster than where I started, but the big, big increase here was total distance because of my height at 108 feet in the air and that landing angle at 36 feet in the air was more optimal. When I was the first few weeks, so I was adjusting to my swing speed a little bit, I was still hitting the ball fairly high. Well, that one right there, 108 feet in the air, basically tour average. Tour average is about 100 to, 100 to 110 feet in the air with that landing angle at 36 degrees. It's the reason why that one went the furthest because all the numbers were very, very optimal right across the board there too. So may not have picked up more club speed this week, but I did pick up more distance. So more distance is obviously the end goal. So the fact that 334 is my next number two beat. So thanks for watching today really been exciting these first five weeks. We've got one more week of training protocol one left. It looks like we just reached a little bit of a plateau here. That is completely typical with the super speed training program. Maybe next couple of weeks it may see a little bit more speed, but we are definitely on progress to hit the ball even further. So 334 is my new target to beat for the following week. Thanks for watching.